Hey everybody, Tom here, and today I want to teach you how to set up a game of Wingspan. I'm going to be setting up a two-player game here. Um, this is a really, obviously, you can just tell from the artwork, beautiful game with a totally unique theme that really exploded on the scene, and uh, I'm really enjoying playing it, and I really wanted to play it again, so here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and take off the cover. Um, inside of the box here, we have three different rule books, and you can't see this, but I don't know how to describe this rule book. Like, it's like linen. Like, I don't even know if you can see. I'm trying to get a little glare. It's like textured, and it doesn't feel like paper. It feels like a poncho. <laughs> it's not a poncho. Whatever. I don't know. But just the quality of the rule book. It's, I don't, I opened the box and I was like, ah, I love it. Anyway, so yeah, good rule book. There's a basic rule book right here. Um, there's an appendix for all of the different cards and abilities. You're going to see this has a massive deck of cards. And then a rule book for the solo variant um, using this Automa deck that I actually like a lot for sure. Um, after I record this, that's probably how I'll be playing solo because uh, it's a great, great system. I like it a lot. But anyway, um, just a couple of things that I wanted to point out here as I open the box. Um, I just want to point out that I've added a couple things and I will point that out as I pull things out. But when you buy the game, it actually comes with three of these um, Stonemeyer Games token boxes, um, which is great. I appreciate that Stonemeyer Games puts these kinds of things in their games. I just found for myself as I was trying to organize things in a way that I liked the best, that these weren't really overly useful. Um, but I do appreciate that they're in there and I just wanted to share a couple of reasons why. First of all, uh, I believe there were three in the box, which is cool. Again, I can't take that away from anyone. Um, I think it just might be my um, stupidity, but I really had a hard time opening these boxes. I don't know why. I, like, cannot figure it out for the life of me. I think it's easier from the corners, but, yeah, I just couldn't. Um, but once you finally get it open, uh, for me, this token container is a little more shallow. You've seen me use deck or the geek boxes before, but this is really shallow for holding things. I mean, you could maybe put it in the lid and cap it that way. But, yeah, that was just a personal preference. So, for me, I couldn't find a way to utilize these boxes in a way that made me most happy. And so, uh, a part of why I wanted to make this video is just to show you the storage solutions that I came up with uh, myself. So... This is a Plano box that I got from Walmart. I think these cost less than $2, but it has five sections, which is perfect because there are five different kinds of food tokens. So that was kind of where I started. I just was able to organize those in there. And I'm just going to take those out now. And then the other thing that I got is, um, this is, uh, oh yeah, it just says it right there. This is a crayon box that I also got from Walmart. I think this was $1. I don't know why that sticker's on there, but I don't want it there. Um, but what I did is I just took all of the eggs, um, cause the color variance doesn't matter at all. I don't know if that'll be a thing that matters later on. Um, but I just took all of the eggs out of their individual bags. Uh, they were bagged per color and I just dumped them into this crayon box and it fits perfectly. And it holds the first player token exactly the way I wanted it to. And it fits nicely in the box. So, uh, those were just things that I added again, not necessary. Um, but I just wanted to share my thoughts with respect to that. Uh, okay, next thing we're going to need, this is going to be a round bonus tracker. It has two sides on it. The green side is more competitive. You're competing for different bonuses. And the back side is less competitive. You just score um, based on different um, bonuses without competing against other people. So I'm going to stick with the green side up for that one. And, uh, again, if you've watched my channel, you know my obsession with geek boxes. I'm pretty sure this is a geek box. I didn't see their logo anywhere on it, but here's this geek box, and it's holding all of the cards. So I'll just take this out for right now. We'll just empty the box and then get the box out of the way. And then what we have down here are the individual player mats. And so I'm going to grab one of these mats for the blue player, one, of the red, one for the red player, and uh, we'll open those up and lay them out in just a second. Also inside of the box, we're going to have, um, well here, let's get the dice tray. So this is a birdhouse dice tower. 
Um, and so it fits together nicely. Now I'll also point out, I did put a little bit of glue on some of the parts here just to make it a little more sturdy. So this here is one piece that you fold up and then glue these two pieces on. So I did put a dab of glue in each of those just to keep it a little more steady. Um, and then this birdhouse stays together really nicely. Uh, there's this is supposed to be loose like that and you'll see why in a second But this part was a little bit loose So I did put some dabs of glue to hold that in there um, But to build this birdhouse once you have the pieces assembled and there are instructions when you buy it obviously um, But there are some notches here on the back side. You're gonna see a tall side and a short side So on the tall side there are a couple of notches and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this part of the birdhouse That's just gonna hold it nicely in there and then that's also going to create this nice ramp for the dice to fall out of. So you just kind of go ahead and put the birdhouse together like that. And while we're here, we're going to take these five big chunky wooden dice. And they, uh, there is here in the back an opening. And that's where the dice drop in. So it's a little tiny bit awkward. In my perfect world, there would have been like maybe a chimney or something on the top of that birdhouse um, just to drop in from the top, but you kinda gotta drop it in from the back, but we're gonna wanna go ahead and get the dice rolled in there for a good initial roll. Uh, there is a score pad here. I've played against myself to start off. I also did a, a thing against the bot, but there's a few papers here. I plan on laminating one of these papers and throwing in a um, dry erase marker soon. So we're gonna take out the score pad, I'll just keep it right there. And we officially have, oh, almost everything out of the box. Um, I'm gonna be playing uh, with the red and blue players, so let me take out those cubes and put them here. I won't need these cubes, done with that bag. And these are gonna be the round bonus tokens. There's like eight of them or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is you are just supposed to kind of grab four of these at random. They are double-sided, so you grab four of these at random and you can just flip them randomly to whatever side is randomly up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab those, put the rest of these in there. Yeah, it looks like there are eight of those all together. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna come back and tidy up the main area and get the card set up in just a second. Let's just open up the player boards. So over here, we're gonna get stuff set up for the blue player. I mentioned that these player boards are pretty big. They are bifolded, so you open it up like this. And if you ever watch my videos, I usually like to stick some colored papers under the boards. Now this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, so you can see how big this play mat is. Um, and I don't know that this is the best way to do this, but it looked a little artistic in my trial. We're just gonna go ahead and stick the blue paper like that. Just so as we bounce back and forth between the players, it's extremely clear who uh, we're looking at, whose board we're looking at. So. We're gonna go ahead and put this board like that. The blue player is gonna be our first player for the first round, so he'll hold on to that token. And we've got eight cubes, and we just need to keep these close by. And let's just hurry and do the same thing for the red player. Let me move that box of cards. We'll just flip this open. I'm gonna stick a couple of papers underneath it just to emphasize our player color as we move around. I know that I have cubes that will show, but they're just so little on this big board and I just like to accent things, make things a little easier. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and take our cubes out. And maybe what I'll do, because I know the red's a little hard to see, the red cubes on the red paper. So we'll just put them in that spot right there. And what we'll do right now is just go ahead and finish kind of setting up this stuff. So this, I'll probably, I gotta figure out the best place for camera life for all of these things. <laughs> this is not gonna be what it'll be like. But I did wanna point out that on the bonus board, you're just gonna take these different um, scoring opportunities and you'll just lay them on the board. Uh, let me hold these up a little closer. So they kind of have an icon and then usually the word in or with and then another icon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that like that. And then inside of this box, I think I told you, are all of these cards. Now, I here's the thing, there are so many cards. I did not wanna shuffle these on camera, so I really do shuffle these um, as I was cleaning up because holy cow, this is a big deck of bird cards. So here's the whole deck right here. Okay, I have spent time shuffling them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out like this. And I just like to keep the draw pile right there next to uh, 
this box. And then here we have two different sets of cards. Now there's the Automa cards and these bonus cards. All the bonus cards are these green leafy ones. And then the Automa deck is for solo play. And all I did is I just took a one inch strip of cardstock and wrapped it around these deck, this deck of cards and taped it together just so it was really easy to um, pull the other cards out or to pull these ones out when needed and wanted. So I go ahead and just keep that right there. And then we've got these bonus cards. So let me give these a shuffle. Um, each player is gonna start off with two bonus cards and they're gonna pick one and discard the rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and just deal two cards to each of my players. And then we're gonna keep this deck of cards nearby, probably there. We've got these cards out. I'm gonna go ahead and cap it. And I haven't decided yet. I might just play with the lid on the table instead of this whole big box uh, and maybe half of the deck of cards just because I don't want them to fall over. But for now, we'll just stick with it like that. But each player starts off with five of these cards. So let me deal those out. Three, four, five. And then you're gonna flip over the top three cards and put them right here on display for everyone to see. The last thing that we've got is we are gonna give each player uh, one of these, one of each of these tokens. So you've got berries and wheat and fish and worms and rodents. And so we're just gonna grab one token of each of these and hand them out to each player. So I guess the last thing for me to do is to maintain some consistency. Let's put those cubes there. We're gonna put the food tokens down here and we're gonna just grab these cards and put them, oh, it's a little off screen, sorry. Uh, we got our two bonus cards, our five bird cards like this. Now, before gameplay, you're gonna have to do some stuff and I'm gonna tack this onto the gameplay video, but before gameplay, you're gonna to wanna to keep one of your bonus cards and discard the other one. I'll do that at the beginning of my gameplay video. And also, between your five food tokens and your five bird cards that you've got here, I'm gonna do this in the gameplay video as well because it will help me start explaining some stuff. But basically, you're going, between these 10 things, you're gonna keep five things and get rid of five other things. So you could keep five cards and discard five food tokens, or keep five food tokens, discard your cards, or keep two food tokens and discard, or oh, keep two tokens and three cards, or whatever. You're gonna have, you're gonna keep five things and get rid of the other five. I'm not gonna do that in this setup video. Let's do that in the gameplay video because it will help with my rules explanation. And so same thing, let's just really quickly get the red player set up. Uh, there are two bonus cards, we're here, and we've got our five bird cards that we'll look at at the beginning of the game play video. All right, and so basically there you have it. That's the setup. Everyone just gets their player boards ready, get your cards, set out your tokens, and you're gonna be ready to go. Um, I'm not loving some of this empty space and I feel like it's a little slanted. So I'm gonna be toying around just with the main play area to look better on camera, uh, but you'll see that in the gameplay video. So if you'd like to see the gameplay video, click on the link in the description of this video and I'm gonna teach you how to play Wingspan and I'm gonna play along as we go just to make sure that it's clear and fun and specifically, I want to be able to play along too. So thank you guys for watching the setup video. Hopefully uh, it was kind of helpful or fun to see some of the tips that I've given you. Um, I will see you in the gameplay. Talk to you later, bye.